Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Open Green Energy. In this video, I will show you an interesting gadget from Seed Studio. This is Senscape T1000 Tracker. I will also show you how I have used this device to track my motorcycle. So guys, without any further delay, let's move to unbox the device. Let's unbox it and see what is inside the box. Inside the box, you will get a USB charger and the tracker. You can see the build quality of the tracker is extremely good. It is really compact. You can compare it with your credit card. It is slightly smaller than the credit card. The actual dimension of the product is 85 cross 55 cross 6.5 mm. The measured weight of the product is 36.5 gram which is slightly higher than the datasheet value that is 32 gram. On the front side, the opening is provided for the piezo buzzer and this is the location for the light sensor and LED and finally this is the location for the push button. It also includes provision for mounting. On the back side, you will find the magnetic charge connector. You can charge the device from any USB source like a power bank. The magnetic connector is strong enough to hold the charging cable. During the charging, you will notice the blinking of LED. Now let me guide you how to use this tracker. Before using this device, make sure you are under the coverage area of LoRaWAN network. As my device is not under the LoRaWAN coverage, so I have to use a LoRaWAN gateway separately. Here I am using a Seed Studio M2 gateway. And apart from the gateway, you will also need the Senscape Mate mobile application. Now let me show you how to configure the Senscape tracker. Open the Senscape Mate mobile application and press the plus icon. Then click on add device. Scan the QR code given on the back side of the device and then name it. After giving a name to your device, press on bind to account. Click on configure now. Now it says to press and hold the push button until the LED starts blinking. Now the device is in configuration mode. Click on ready to go for the next step. The device will automatically scan the nearby tracker. The SN number of the tracker will pop up. Then go to the advanced configuration. You can see all the device information are there. Here click on the measure button. You will able to see the current temperature and light intensity. Then go inside the settings page. Here you have to select the platform. The default platform is Senscape for TTN. Next, you have to select the frequency plan in your area. After that, we will go inside the work mode. Here first you have to enable the temperature and light sensor. Then you have to change the uplink interval. Here I am changing it to 5 minutes. Then go to the geolocation and select the geolocation strategy. The default strategy is GNSS only. I am keeping the default one. But you can select the other strategy according to your tracker model. Now click on the send button to send all the settings data into the device. You can see it is successfully configured. Now tap back to home and disconnect the device. The device is now trying to join the LoRa network. On successful connection, you will hear the buzzer beep sound and you will also notice the LED quick flashing. On the home screen, click on our device tracker OGE. You can see the current location of the device with temperature and light intensity data. Here, if you click on the history button, you can see the previous data. Now let's see some interesting features of this tracker. On single click, it will send the data immediately to the LoRa 1 network. Similarly, you can trigger the SOS by double clicking the push button. You can also see the tracker data by logging into the Senscape portal website. There are lot of cool features on this portal, you can explore it. Now let's come to the practical application part. The tracker can be used for many applications like international asset tracking, search and rescue operation, equipment monitoring. Here I will use this tracker inside my bike. So let's open it. I will show you the details process on how to install it. I have installed the tracker below the seat cover to protect it from outside environment and also to hide it from outside. I have used a zip tie to mount the device to the bike. 
as the device is battery operated so there is no additional electrical wiring is required. Guys you can find all the important informations regarding this tracker in the video description. Now I am going to test the range of the device. As per my testing, I am getting maximum 1 km range. Please comment what is the maximum range that you have get and also share how you have achieved it. The product will be live on Kickstarter on 22 August 2023. You can find all the information on Kickstarter page. The link is given in the video description. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. A special thanks to all of my patrons. Without your support, it is impossible to make this video. Thank you.